What's going on, YouTube? Um, this is that question. Um, once again, this is the, the need to be free channel. Um, like I said, because people need to be free from the lies and the misconceptions and the deceptions and the cults. And definitely, they need to be free from the ICGJC. You know, um, this is one of those things that, this is one of those breakdowns that when it came out, it was an eye opener for me because as soon as I heard it, I knew it was wrong. I knew it was a lie. Uh, simply because we were ordered to do something. When you first join the church, you join the academy, you first order to read the first five books of the Bible. It's the laws, the beginnings. You know, this is for novices, beginners. You read it. If you read it enough, you know, you start to remember things. And when I heard this breakdown, I remembered something. Um, basically, what the breakdown is is just of the breakdown. Um, just to give a little background info, there's 12 tribes mentioned in the Bible. 12 tribes make up one nation, which is the nation of Israel. There are lists throughout the Bible that list these 12 tribes, from 1 all the way down to 12. Um, you can go anywhere on YouTube and look it up and get a just understanding of what the 12 tribes are. And you can also get a just understanding of what the ICGJC, or who the ICGJC thinks the 12 tribes are. But basically, for those of you who, are, who understand what I'm talking about, who understand the whole 12 tribes, the, the situation was about the tribe of Dan and why the tribe of Dan does not appear in Revelations the seventh chapter. Um, Revelations the seventh chapter is another list of the twelve tribes, but the tribe of Dan does not appear there the way they did in the beginning. When you read Genesis chapter forty nine, you know, when the prophecies are being given, Dan has a prophecy given about them. Um, you know, they're listed. But in Revelations they're not listed. This is a thing that was not talked about in the ICG, ICGJC a lot. Because the explanation for it was that, oh well the tribe of Dan was a wicked tribe and the Lord did away with him. Um, now, you know, Tazadaki came out recently with a breakdown saying that the tribe of Dan was merged with the tribe of Manasseh. Once again, merged with the tribe of Manasseh, joined with the tribe of Manasseh. They are no more, no longer known as the tribe of Dan or Danites. They are known as Manessites or the tribe of Manasseh. This is a new thing to everyone. He says that they are merged with the tribe of Manasseh. The scriptures he uses to prove that, or to attempt to prove that, is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 22, and, De and uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 23, which neither scripture says anything specifically about the tribe of Dan or the tribe of Manasseh merging together at all. And brothers in the church, sisters in the church, the heads in the church, know this. They read it. You can go back and read it right now. Read it again. Read it again. You know what? I'll read a scripture while you're reading that. Because this is exactly, this scripture right here is describing exactly what Tazadaki is doing. So you can go ahead and look up Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 22. Read it. Look up uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 5 verse 22. Read that. Um, let's see if we have Okay, well let me just let me just get um, let me just read Deuteronomy since we don't have too much time. Um, Deuteronomy chapter thirty three, verse twenty two. Deuteronomy chapter thirty three, verse twenty two. It says. It says, and Dan, and of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's wealth. He shall leap from Bashan. And the next scripture talks about Naphtali, not Dan, or Manasseh, or Manasseh and Dan joining together or merging together. Let's get First Chronicles chapter 5, and verse 23. It says, First Chronicles chapter 5 verse 23 says, And the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan unto ba Baal Hermon and Sinir and unto Mount Hermon. Now, neither one of those scriptures said anything about the tribe of Manasseh or the tribe of Dan being merged. What the Israelite Church of God and Jesus Christ tries to say, they try to make that link between the two tribes be the land of Bashan. When you read over the, both of those scriptures, the land of Bashan is actually mentioned in both scriptures. Bashan was the land that was given to the tribe of Manasseh. 
all right now when you read in in Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 22 it says that the tribe of Dan is going to leap from Bashan insinuating that this tribe is going to be leaving or going away from this land not going into it leap from Bashan and that's not even the real point. The real point is that it had it did not say anything about the tribe of Dan or the tribe of Nessa merging. If they did, what do you think that would be something that was really important? Something that should be mentioned in the scriptures? Just like the just like the breakdown about Paul. Wouldn't you think that that would be important? There should be a statement, a very important statement being made in the Bible to link those two different um, those two different stories, those two contradicting stories, same same logic applies here. What do you think there should be some mention in the Bible about these two tribes being joined together? It's not there because they weren't joined together. Whether you believe in the Bible or you don't, I mean, I'm just pointing out the obvious. Because the Bible says that... Um, it talks. It says that you know that no man should should add unto the words of the Bible. That no man should be adding unto the words of the Bible, and ICGJC will be the ones to be quick to quote that to somebody else. But how about themselves? Because that's exactly, that's exactly what's being done here. This explanation, this breakdown, is being added to the Bible because those words, that explanation of the tribe of Dan and the tribe of Nessa being joined together, is not in the Bible. It's not there. Tazadaki tries to make it be there just because both scriptures mention the land of Basan. But what he fails to do is to admit that he, ha he has absolutely no idea what Deuteronomy 33 verse 22 is talking about. Now, um, another, another thing that they like to point out is that the tribe of Manasseh was one of the smallest tribes because they are referred to as the half tribe of Manasseh. That is not the case. When you read it in the Bible, when you read in Deuteronomy, not Deuteronomy, but Numbers, when you read in Numbers chapter 32, when you read it in Numbers chapter 32, you can actually start at verse 1. It says, Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle. And then when they saw the land of Jezer and the land of Gilead, they behold, the place was a place of place for cattle. The children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spake unto Moses and Eleazar the priest and said unto the princes of the congregation, saying, uh, Ataroth and Dibon and Jezer and Nimrah and Heshbon and Elea and Elela and Shibam and Nebo and beyond, even the country which the Lord smote before the congregation of Israel is a land for cattle and thy servants have cattle. Wherefore said they, if we have found grace in thy sight, let this land be given unto thy servants for a possession, and bring us not over Jordan. They asked Moses for the land before the Jordan. So this is Gad and Reuben, right? They asked Moses for the land before the Jordan. So let's jump down to, let's see here. Well, let's keep reading. Verse 6. Verse 6. It says, And Moses said unto the children of Gad, and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? And wherefore discourage ye the heart of the children of Israel from going over into the land which the Lord hath given them? Moses thought that they were trying to discourage the hearts of the, of the children of Israel from crossing the Jordan. Now, when you read verse 16, it says, And they came near unto him and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our cattle and cities for our little ones, but we ourselves will go ready on before the children of Israel until we have brought them unto their place. And our little ones shall dwell in the fence cities because of the inhabitants of the land. So basically they told Moses, if you give us this land, you know, we're not going to fall back. We're going to cross the Jordan with the rest of y'all and fight for the land, fight for the rest of the land until everybody gets their inheritance. Then once they do that, then they go back to get their land. And you can read that in Numbers chapter 32 verse 33. Where Moses actually made that deal with them. He told them, you know, if you'll do that, then you can be blessed with the land. You can have the land if you'll do that. If you'll cross the Jordan and fight and get the rest of the land for the rest of your brothers. 